Yes, sir. A couple of months ago, weeks ago, I don't know, I'm not good with time. Coach Spurrier said he wants to have an all SEC offensive lineman in 2014. Do you share that goal? Uh, I mean, I think for, for our individual players, I think it's it's a goal they may have. I, I personally, I want a, I want a winning football team. Right. Uh, you know, you, you look at a great quarterback like we had last year in Connor Shaw, you tell me he went all SEC type guy. Right. We got good players. We got good offensive linemen. Uh, that's more of a personal goal for them. I hope just to put a good product out on the field each and every week, or not I, we. Right. Uh, so that, that's what I'm thinking. But yeah, it'd be nice. Did you have guys you think played at that level last year and just didn't get that recognition? I mean, well, I think I think AJ Cannon is one of the more consistent players on the football field. Yeah. I mean, what he's done, and the, you know, you've seen our offense production is up. Uh, at times, Brandon Shell plays extremely well. Yeah. Corey Robson plays extremely well at times. Uh, probably at the, the center position, knocked off because we had a redshirt freshman in there, both of them. But yeah, there was times you we, we played at a high level. How much does Mike Matula's coming back help you, and what are your plans for him? Okay, anytime you get a guy with experience that uh, has been in SEC battles. That's strong, and, and you saw him. He walked probably walked through here. He looks like he can play. Right. You know, he is fully healed. Uh, I think we're really excited about having him back. He gives you so many, so many different options. You know, he, he's a tackle, he's a guard. You know, I'm throwing him in there at right guard. I want to see if he can play. It. Right. Can you be a good player at right guard? If he can, man, the sky's the limit for what we can do. Right. Because uh, we got players that actually can play that position. We could bump him out to tackle. This gives you a, a lot of options, and that's something very pleasing to see. And he's excited about playing. Was there a time you wondered if you'd ever have him back? He said there was a time he wondered. There, there was certainly a time. Uh, you know, uh, there was times I sat down. And I said, you know, Mike, I want to do whatever's best for you. You take you take this season off. You red shirt, and if you feel like you're physically able to come back and play, I'm all for it. And if you not, then I'm all for you sitting out, and we'll, we'll take care of you that way. Uh, I think he really wants it bad though. Yeah. When he was hurt, he was hurt. You know, uh, everybody kind of not goes through depression, but they get they get down on themselves. Right. And uh, he lost a bunch of weight. But you can see the sparkles back in his eye. He's got a smile on his face. He looks like a healthy monster, and uh, he, he's he's pleasing to see out here. I'm happy for him. What are you doing at center? Are you rotating both of those guys equally oh, at this point? Or what are you We've doing? got a great center battle. We got Cody Walter. We got uh, Alan Knott. We got Clayton Stadnick. Oh God, Bryce King took snaps at center today. Yeah. We've got four guys out there snapping the football. Uh, so, you know, it's gonna be a battle. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play, I'm coach, we're all gonna play with this lineup a little bit. Cody Waldrop may be over there playing some right guard. Clayton Stanton may be starting at center. Uh, we as a staff, we'll evaluate and see where we are and see what the best fit and format's gonna be. You ever had this many offensive linemen in the spring? Never, ever. <laughs> it's a it's a great feeling. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a really good feeling to have. Uh, and you know, there's gonna be some tough decisions because I think we've got a lot of good players. Right. But uh, that's what that's what we get paid to do. We make the tough decisions and tell those guys it's a battle each and every day. So they can go out and work for it, and see who's gonna play. But I told them I said if you all can play at a high level, you all play. Right. So did right. it take you as long as you thought to build that kind of depth? Yes. You know, building an O line is it's kind of like building a team. You know, from my perspective. Uh, so many different pieces and parts you got to put into place and such a big group you know five five guys you know they're always on the field you, know, you can't go out there without five offensive linemen so i knew it was going to be a, a process but uh, you stay the course you got to get good players in here you're going to lose a few here and there but uh, overall i think we, we are continuing to build and, and hopefully we will in the future but, but right now i feel pretty pleased with where we are, you know, we just in the third day of spring practice, but our numbers are up, and we're able to put, you know, th three good solid lines out there. You had a handful of guys red shirt. Did anybody come out here looking a lot better to you physically? That really stood out. Um, yeah, I don't know about so much physically. Uh, boy, DJ Park, first day of practice, he was running around like he was. I mean, I don't know. There was a spring in his step. I, I, and we were just in shorts, and I was just. I was told, Staff, I said, boy, DJ look fantastic running around there. Now he's got to do it consistently, and we've got to put him in position to be successful uh, and kind of smooth feed him, so to speak. But uh, all of them are doing really well, and I think at this point we're, we're pretty pleased with them all. How much does their job change with uh, Dylan back there instead of Connor? Connor was a little more mobile than Dylan, I guess. Does their job change much at all? I don't think it does. I really don't. We, there's times they didn't know who was playing quarterback back there. You know, it, it really doesn't matter to those guys. Uh, you, you, 
play to people's strengths, of course. Uh, so we'll see what we have to do. But uh, I don't envision it being a, a very big change at all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See y'all. Thank you.